Hello and welcome back to 911 Skates. Today we are looking at the most desirable Panamera model car out there. To be specific, a 2018-971 Panamera 4E Hybrid Sport Turismo in Sapphire Blue as a Porsche Techquipment model car. That's quite a name, right? Why this one has a roof box and why I think it is so special, that'll be the topic of this review. For you who's tuned in for the very first time, thank you very much for doing so checking out my channel. My name is Michael and with 911 Skates I'm trying to bring out some decent information about Porsche model cars. If you are interested in this and feel that reviews like this are helping you with your next Porsche model car purchase, make sure to hit that subscribe button down here below. Also, it really helps me spreading our passion for Porsche model cars. Before I'm taking out my macro lens here and we'll get an up close look onto the model in 4K resolution, we also discuss this Panamera, which is one of my favorite modern Porsches out there. And after that, we'll rate this model in price, quality, details, rarity and significance, like I've done it in all my other reviews so far. So this Panamera, here we have the second generation of Porsche's luxury super saloon. If you'd like to see a review of the first generation, I reviewed the Turbo S Panamera of the 970.2 generation. Link to that is also down in the description below. With the second generation, Porsche really made the Panamera beautiful. And they also brought out this year, the Panamera Sport Turismo version which is a station wagon, or as we call it in Germany, a combi. And this is truly a first for Porsche, and I'm so glad that they've decided to join that marked segment. This really is a beautiful car, and I think it's even more stunning than the standard Panamera. Obviously, the only difference to the standard Panamera, here the Sport Turismo gets a new tailgate and even gets more headroom in the rear. Also, this one retains a small active rear wing, which I think is a very first for any combi out there. This year, the 4E Hybrid Panamera is the less powerful version of the two hybrids, getting a twin turbo V6 compared to the twin turbo V8 of the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. This year has still 462 horsepower and therefore is not a slow car, propelling it to from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.6 seconds, which for a 2.2 ton car, that is still very fast. Here it's 143 scale model car twin, looks as stunning as a real car made by Spark for Porsche exclusive as a Techquipment model car. Techquipment that is Porsche's name for their accessories like this awesome roof box here on top. The model is limited to only a thousand pieces and had cost you 59 euros. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you would even pay up to 70 euros nowadays. The model spec comes from a real car from a specific Panamera which was part of a Porsche exclusive promotion tour in 2018. Um, this and some other cars were presented in Porsche centers here in Germany and I even had the pleasure of uh, seeing the real car in early 2018 here at Porsche Mannheim. But the model does not represent this car perfectly which I show you now up close. Let's start our walk around at the rear of the car which is the most important part of the Sport Turismo. Which is also a great name, right? You can say, no sir, I'm not driving a wagon, I'm driving a Sport Turismo. Biggest change to the normal Panamera is the rear wiper here and the lower loading lip down here with the new tailgate. And also this little spoiler here on top, which is actually active and deploys at a certain speed. Then we have the big rear light stripe, which actually the Panamera introduced into the Porsche brand. Very nicely done by Spark and a Porsche exclusive manufacturer number plate here, so that you are very sure that this is not a normal Panamera. And Spark even thought of little details like the parking sensor here in the rear bumper and this little mesh down here very hard to see on camera and then all the exclusive options so the car is equipped with the sport design package which is not that noticeable in the rear of the car but here it actually paints this lower part down here in the body color in sapphire blue metallic then we have the exhaust tips in black and the panoramic roof here and then obviously because this is a tech equipment model car we have this huge huge roof box here on top which looks actually really cool at the side the options continue the 21 inch exclusive design wheels looks very nice the door handrails, mirrors, this blade here and the window surroundings are all in black and also these side blades down here are in sapphire blue metallic which is part of the sport design package. Also the rear side windows are tinted in black like 
the rear window on the tailgate. Spark did a great job representing all these details. Also, the e-hybrid riding here is nicely done as the one on the rear. The wheels are extremely gorgeous with the acid green brake calipers and the drilled brake disc behind them. Looks absolutely great, love it very much. The front does look exceptional as well and here you notice the sport design package the most which looks very different from the standard front. These double beam daytime running lights and indicators are completely different and these grills down here are all in black which is surprisingly expensive on the real car. Spark does all these very nice, the radar here and there for the active cruise control. The lights itself look also very great. But here the actual car has a matrix LED option equipped while this one has only the standard lights. Also different to the real car is the interior. It should actually be a very light gray level but here it is unfortunately only black and there is also no stitching whatsoever, which is my biggest critique on this model. Otherwise, the details in the interior are nicely done. The on the Panamera very big middle console is highly detailed and looks great. They even included Panamera writing under the gear selector. And even better look the instruments. These could be the best of any 143 scale model I've ever seen. Also great looks the PCM screen. Again, referring to mini champs, this is how it should look like on their 992 models. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, a link to a 992 review is down below. Check that one out if you want to see a bad PCM screen graphic. And the steering wheel looks also very good. You can even see the tiny shift pedals and they even included the seat memories and window controls in the doors. And finally, the packaging of the model. First thing I would need to criticize is that this one is limited to a thousand pieces, but the the indication is missing on the bottom plate and in the cardboard box as well. But the source I know it is that when they sold the model online on the Porsche shop there it was actually indicated at a thousand pieces. And the box itself has all around this very lovely lakeside picture which looks very good. And then it has Porsche equipment written down here and this wonderful Panamera Sport Wishmo sketch here in the background. Something which is a bit odd is that on the rear of the package is that this advertisement for the Porsche Tech Whitmond website, which today does not show us these two Panameras. And the one in the back seems to be this year the exact same car which this model represents. And today they show you these. Wouldn't these two Porsches be amazing as model cars? Especially that Miami Blue Macan with the bikes at the rear. That would be amazing and I want that so, so bad. Anyway, this Panamera is quite a stunner, right? And by far the most desirable Panamera model car out there. So let's see if it also does this good in our scores. Price for this is actually quite high. Nowadays, if you'll find one, you're looking at maybe even 70 euros, giving it only a six out of 10. Quality is normal for a 143 scale Spark model, giving it a seven out of 10. Details are awesome with all these exclusive options ticked, giving it an eight out of 10. Rarity is high. These are popping up so rarely nowadays and the model is only limited to a thousand pieces, giving it an eight out of 10. Significance isn't that high. Surely it's the first combi Porsche ever made and I personally absolutely adore a car like this, but overall it's only worth a 6 out of 10. Which means in total this Porsche exclusive Panamera 4E Hybrid Sport Turismo as a tech equipment model car gets a 35 out of 50 and puts it here on our scoreboard. And with that, this Panamera sits very high on our scoreboard, surpassing many special 911s and that in itself is very impressive, right? Furthermore, underlining the overall desirability of this model. And if you like to see the detailed scoreboard, the link to that is down here in the description below. So what do you think of this Porsche wagon? Do you like it as much as I do or is it just an opinion divider? Let me know in the comments below. And before I'm sending you to my high resolution pictures at the end of this video, which look always awesome on a big screen and 4K resolution, I would like to say thank you very much for tuning in again, watching the video until the very end. If you'd like to join me in spreading the passion for Porsche model cars, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps out the good cause. Also, feel free to contact me on Instagram and look at my content there at 911 scales. That's it for now. Tune in next time when I explore the Porsche world in 911 scales again. Thank you very much. Ala, ciao.